Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> hello, happy new year. Hi, hello, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> we're back, uh, even though you probably didn't notice because sell, our past selves have made videos. Oh yeah, that's right, but we did take a little break. Yeah, yeah. But we're back. So uh, this, is, this is something that got requested on the break. Uh, she's like one of the greatest uh, playback, playback singers. singers. In India, so I'm really interested. I think it's obviously it's from a movie. I think um, mm -hmm. I would love to know like what else you like us to check out, like uh, artists that perhaps don't do like movies and stuff like that. It's very peculiar, like the scene, obviously the music scene, because it's very interlinked with visuals and and movies. Um, but if there are any, any other artists that don't do that, then they're still more than welcome. I just wanted to say that because it feels like everyone. Um, gets involved in the playback scene very mm -hmm, often mm -hmm. but i'm sure there's other artists that don't you know that's right, like, that's right. I, I loved them we discovered some other artists that don't specifically have movies you know but let us know made anyways. music for movies yeah, specifically yeah. all artists or are welcome yeah awesome. that's right or became famous because of making music for mm -hmm. movies but this is alka jack nick and let's have a look this is a classic apparently yeah, yeah, sure. Whoa, that's weird. That sounds like... Yeah, this, the singing is really peculiarly cool. Bloody have, scenes are so charming for some yeah, reason. Yeah, <laughs> but this is why I have a hard time breaking down Bollywood music videos because they they are so uh, they, they they absorb you because of the world building that they create right right off the bat. The visual aspect of it is such a huge element of the storytelling as well as the as the musicalization of 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 it all. So I I always have a hard time trying to separate the the what i'm hearing to what i'm seeing and and what are the peculiarities that make that so charming and all of it becomes one whole body of work it's really hard to like you know separate one element from the other so i always have a hard time analyzing these videos because I don't know what to focus on. Then there <laughs> is know? a question. What would you like us to do more? Like break down the song, which is obviously what I think we would be best, as the better at. Um, <laughs> or the video. Like, cause, um, or maybe at the same time, we should listen to like, watch the video and then look at a live version or things mm -hmm. like that. Maybe let us know in the comments. At the end of the day, like, it, it, you know, this is as much in as enjoyable. I hope it's as enjoyable as it is for us, for you guys to watch. That's um, right. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think, what we should do kind of, kind of thing. But mm -hmm. go on. It's beautiful singing timber though, that's for sure. And the choreography is great. Violence, yeah. It's no. violence. Is it violence? No, I don't think they are. Shoes. Oh, nice. Toma. <laughs> See, that scale is so intriguing. There's a sense of suspense to it all. Gosh, the woman in purple has fantastic lines. As, I mean, as in body lines. Yeah. She's good looking. Gorgeous. Marby. <laughs> Beautiful eyes, though. Yeah, that is that violent. I think it is. Right, strange. No, no, no. It must be like that? a cello. A cello. Yeah, it's like a, it's definitely a string sections, but it's not. Or a viola, but it's definitely not a violin because a violin is is set in a higher scale, so they're naturally more, is they sound higher. Yeah, it's but a cello. it, the cellos. I would think so. Perhaps maybe 
a viola, which is like but, it's bigger than a than a violin. Because they brought it mid section, just before a sentence, just right. before a she she had a uh, a line. Okay. For I guess you know for effect. Mm -hmm. Um, but that one was really high pitched. So right. I don't know. I I wasn't paying attention. Is I was just looking at everything so cool. She's in good shape, man. She's in fantastic shape. Yeah, there's such clever things about that choreo as well. I got married. Aww. I think they were telling the story of how they. Oh Whoa. my god! It's a trumpet. <laughs> what does that remind you of? I don't know! Oh, hello, sir. I love how they Gosh, move when they me fucking too. dance! Me too! Me too! They've got beautiful upper body frames. Their frames are so beautiful. Yeah, look at those lines. That's beautiful! Nice! How cool is that? <laughs> the the warning. The warning. I know one word. Chupa. <laughs> the, you see the girl that girl in the, in the purple. Holy it's fuck! Gorgeous. She's attractive. Isn't she beautiful? But I love the details on the background choreo. Nobody really pays much attention to background choreo ever. But I've noticed that in Bollywood production, they pay so much attention to the environment. Yeah. Not just uh, the main dancers or the main focus of the story or whatever the story's trying to tell you. It's about the environmental aspect of it too. So you're getting... Uh, always there's a moving background. There's It's an alive um, environment overall. So you get a really cool ecosystem of movements and and details so everything is very layered um so when you're watching and you're enthralled by the storytelling of it all you also have this uh, you have these moments where you can really take apart the details in the background and that amplifies the whole experience from a watching standpoint but also when you're listening it, to the music, you realize how many layers and how many details there are in the song itself. So it's all really intertwined. You know, like how many layers there is in the music, how many layers there are in the visual aspect of it all. So you you can really take your time indulging in the whole experience of this this music video. I guess that would be the most, I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess that's how we've been doing it, but I guess that would be the best way to break down this type of stuff because I think they they they're so intertwined with each other. That it's very mm. hard to isolate one from one from another, um, and I and I think that's why these songs genuinely become so popular. Apart from the fact that they are you know good quality songs, but I think they genuinely um, they do a very good job of of telling two stories at once. That's right. Um, and then intertwining both stories, you know, creating an auditory experience as stimulating as visually. That's and then right. therefore you all your senses are not overstimulated but, but certainly they're stimulating they heighten. Yeah. So yeah, and, and and I think this is certainly something very unique from I guess the whole Bollywood um uh, scene mm -hmm. of, of, of music and movies. I agree, I agree. So it's a different guy now. Yeah. This is a different story. See that? Mm -hmm. It's like they're marrying off a bunch of people. I think this is what it is. I yeah, think she hasn't chosen. No, 
I think we're seeing oh different girls different girls getting married uh, yeah 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 you're right. you see I think it's like the daughters off and then you just see them grow up there you go see? yeah gorgeous choreo I think it's their fathers looking out for their daughters. Oh my god, the voices though. Ooh, hi sir! Aww. The three of them, they're like... That's a good gig to land, man, being a backup dancer for... Oh, I know, right? Oh, is that receiving their blessing? I think so. Are you coming to dance too? What a good celebratory situation, I love this. Uh. Celebration. Oh, look at that tiny little humans. See the details in the music. Bravo. Wow. Cool. Oh, man. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you know <laughs> what? Come off. what, what what's really unique, I think, like, um, <clears throat> I, I have mentioned it before, where it seems a specific type of timber, a, a specific style of singing, mm -hmm. especially in the female realm of singing in India, from, from what I can tell at the moment, uh, has it definitely has a a style a prerequisite that's there, right. there is certainly a type of timber which resonates better there's in this movie there's a style movies. that adheres completely to this movies too and there's a style that's sought after because yeah. you see it often and, and it you know from different voices it, that's why i find it really interesting to look you know slightly further back from the 90s i think um that she's just i guess legendary for for those songs in the 90s mm -hmm. and 2000s um Early, early 2000s, I would imagine. And um, noticing that such qualities are still prevalent um, certainly does prove, I guess, the argument that a specific type of um, a singer is sought after in this industry. Yeah, and it's a, it's a familiar favorite. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, a, it's like it, those are the voices you grew up with. Therefore, you want to maintain such of uh, such familiarity in in the future generations and it's something that uh when you want to strike a chord with your audience you bring that nostalgia factor you back into it right so it heightens the emotion and it also heightens the experience and I, and i and i've come to believe that bollywood as as a production uh tends to hit the nail in the head when it comes to heighten, heightened emotions, yep. heightened senses. Uh, uh, so it's it's all very big, it's all very layered, it's all, it's on an experience. So I think it's part of, of the emotional factor that you pick the familiar favorites. Even in the male voices, there's a certain timbre, there's a certain um, a resemblance between one another and yet they got their very refined differences what uh, some singers and, and others right they're very distinct but at the same time they all seem to have certain uh, regularities you know and they all adhere to a certain uh, behavioral code vocally speaking it's really cool I love that because it's like it's car it's like a generational uh, passing on, you know, yeah, it's like a, it's it's really dope. Certain an interesting conversation to have from someone who it would would be within the industry or, uh -huh. or I guess has been in it. Um, let us know perhaps if you do know the answer to to the reason why this is the case. I, I think I have I think I've expressed why my prediction why it might be. I think it's certainly culturally intertwined, mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah, let us know also what else you like us to check out next. That's all right. artists are welcome, um, as you guys know from all around the world. Um, but if you, there's any other artists that we haven't checked, and I'm sure there's fucking hundreds. There's plenty, from India, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, do let us know, and then goodbye. That's right. <laughs>